Amen. Amen. And while we are starting, you know, folks, I like to start with a little bit of recap video. Greetings to everyone who's joined us online. And we are going to enjoy a bit of catechism video countdown. You know how we do what we do. So hang tight and let's, let's enjoy this right here. We're a busy church and I tell you what, it's wonderful the experiences that we have together. You be blessed.
right, there you have it, there you have it. We are Shekinah Worship Center. We are the Pearl of a Church in the middle of the Atlantic. And one more time, it is good to greet you there online. And wait a minute, in the house. Good evening, everybody. All right, okay. Some people look like they're waving, and some don't look like they're waving. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Well, it's good to see you all, and it's good that you're in the house one more time. Now, somebody, somebody didn't wake up this morning. How about that? And you know what? If you don't wake up, you don't even know that you didn't wake up. But everybody that loves you knows you didn't wake up. Hmm. Just thoughts that make you go, hmm. So while we are yet alive and able to make impact, this is why we gather each week. How many of you, like myself, we have someone we need to make it into the household of faith? Uh-huh, someone that needs to be safe when the trump shall sound. Woo, the dead in Christ shall rise. And we who are alive and remain and have the blood stain of Jesus Christ, we're going to be caught up, hallelujah, to meet him in the air. Oh, yes, what a day, what a glorious day that will be. And so while we w yet are living it's only for one thing. It's to encourage others to get to know our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, yes, we come in that name, and his name is Jesus. He's sweet, I know. Storm clouds may rise, strong winds may blow, but I'll tell the world wherever I go that I found a Savior, and he sweet, I know. All right. And then, of course, the Trinity, the triune Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Blessed Holy Spirit. All right, we are covered. Let me, get, let me give you a thought before we go any further. Folks, we had a little offline discussion. Here's what hit me while I was watching the video. God is omni omniscient, right, church? Okay. Um. Does he know the am from the beginning? Okay, so far we're on point. All right. That means God knew that there will be days like 2023? Oh. Did he leave us help? Oh. Okay. Okay. So we have, now of course, the helper, he is the Holy Spirit. Am I right? And the beautiful thing is that unlike under the old covenant where it rested and lifted, where he rested, the spirit rested and lifted like as in Samson, he now abides within us. Oh, he walks with me. Don't make me start. Yes, he does. And he talks with me. Mm -hmm. So we're not alone. We've got the teacher. Hello. The one to lead and guide us into all truth. So in this world of fake, we have the truth. So it sounds to me like we just need to remain and, and, and abide in relationship with the Holy Spirit. We do that. He's got this time checked. He's been here and done that. Right? I don't know if he's got the T-shirt and the mug, but he, he's been here and done that. And so we are not alone. And we don't want to raise a church or, or children, the little ones, you know, that seeing let the church say amen, we don't want to raise them in the atmosphere that God hasn't figured it out for them. So be encouraged. Our God knows all. Oh, he is our sovereign God. Amen. We also give greetings to our bishop, Bishop Jacqueline E. McCalla, and we give a shout out to the Beth Rafa family and the Rafa Alliance of Pastors. That's right, Dr. Woods. We already have the victory. We're not walking in defeat. I don't care how much stuff going on in the world. The end of it is we win. We win. Some of you need to come ETCN. Then you, then you have a, a rap on it. Be like, that's all right. This world ain't got me. We all got God will got this because y'all got it. It's a different vantage point. And um, so be encouraged continuously. Amen. Well, where do we go from here? Ah, the smooth singer. <laughs> uh, Deaconess Kathy, amen, as we greet you. We've had a time of prayer. 
covered my family, the church family, super seniors for sure, and the island of Bermuda. We want to thank our Reverend Stephen Trot for leading out in that prayer. At this time, we're going to yield the Zoom mic to our Deaconess Kathy. God bless you, Deaconess. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're going to sing Because of Who You Are. Lord, I 
worship you, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Hallelujah. Flow to you. Hello. 
God bless you, Deaconess. Amen. We are just celebrating. Hallelujah. <laughs> Two beautiful worship songs. Because of who you are, I give you glory. And then let all my worship and all my praise flow to you. Nobody. Hallelujah. Nobody but our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's right. So we're not empowering anybody else. We're not empowering the times in which we live. We are empowering or we are given to the knowledge of where the power is. Because we can't even, we can't empower God. He just is. Amen. We got to hook up with the, to the power source. Amen. God bless you. God bless you again, Deaconess. All right. As we move towards the clear, everybody got your paper and your pan? I think there are 32 questions. But before that, that's just 32. I'm head up to 40-something. Um, before that, we are going to have our sanctification confessional, as long as I can find it. <laughs> Woo. Okay, yeah, I got it. And our Reverend Eunice. Woo. Reverend Eunice Lightborn is going to read the sanctification confessional. Rev. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Swim family. And good evening, social media. Hallelujah. Let us read our sanctification confessional together like we mean it because we want to be transformed. Hallelujah. Let us read. I am a sinner saved by grace. I was guilty of sin and I cherished it. My life was a willful offense to God. I didn't want him and didn't care if he wanted me. But despite my depraved existence and my evil and selfish ways, because of his grace and mercy alone, he chose me, hallelujah. My salvation is only because he drew me to himself. I was spiritually dead and he awakened my spirit to be attracted to him. Now he wants me to know him and to have eternal life through him. He wants me to change through the process of sanctification and be more like him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I have tried and I know I am incapable of sanctifying myself. I want to sin because my sin nature is still alive. In my flesh is no good thing. My flesh is hostile towards God. It is an active enemy of God. Nothing I do, oh my goodness, nothing I do will sanctify me. Performance, good works, talents, and gifts do not qualify me. Oh my Jesus. Hallelujah. I can only be sanctified through his word and truth. I must commit to this process, dying daily to my fleshy ways and ideas. When I embrace the sanctification process daily, it will gospelize my life. I will, oh glory, be a new creature. Hallelujah. His death, burial, and resurrection guarantee I really can have a different kind of life. Therefore, I pray the word will seize, hallelujah, my heart and conquer the filth of my mind and to capture the longing of my soul. Glory. I want to be sanctified. I need to be sanctified. I am determined to be sanctified. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Right there. I tell you what, that, that, that reading reminded me that we are leaning not to our understanding. We're leaning on the everlasting arms of our, our God. It, we can't do it ourselves. The more we lean in, that's what we got to tell ourselves. Tell somebody, lean in. If you're feeling some sort of way, lean in. 
hallelujah, to a God that never fails, never fails. Glory to God. Thank you, Reverend Eunice. Amen. We appreciate that as usual. Your passion, we certainly feel it. I'm right there with you. Understanding that this, this flash of ours will take us down a road. It'll make us feel flashy. It'll make us feel emotional. It'll, make, it'll lead us straight down the garden path to hell. That's why we come under. We, subject, we submit and subject ourselves to the power of the Holy Spirit. And he allows us to conquer during these times that want to conquer us. Amen. He doesn't fail. He never changes. Amen. That's why I'm still a Christian. I'm on the winning side. I ain't going anywhere. What? I'm all, I'm all in. Anybody else all in with the pastor? <laughs> I am all in. Amen. God bless you. Well, we are about to uh, have the quiz. And in catechism, we have been looking at questions, causing us to slow down. And we have three different teams uh, in particular, and they've been presenting, getting the message lesson together. And I want to thank God for our Reverend Stephen Trott, our Reverend Esther Trott, our Reverend Dr. Wendy Woods, God bless you, Elder, for their able leadership. And God bless your team as you work together to present the lessons. It's wonderful. And superintendent, the primary person who handles the sharing of PowerPoints, we appreciate everybody. Amen? Amen. We've come through lessons 23 through to 25. Um, questions, and um, I better not say too much because I don't want to start talking about the answers because you are about to have a quiz. So you got your paper, pen or pencil, and I think there are 32 questions. <laughs> Amen. And we know that um, they're pretty much straightforward. So I think you're going to do fine. I will play the quiz. And following that, we'll bid adieu and go offline to go over the answers. All right. But we will have that quiz now. Are you ready, church? Amen, amen, there they are. Now, if you're online and you've been with us, well, then you, you should have your paper and your pen or pencil too. Join us, amen, and let's see what we have continued to glean, learn, and recall as we have the quiz. All right, let me turn my volume up. Now, don't get so much in the music that you don't read the questions and answer. Okay, all right. <laughs> Make sure I give you the right one. I don't want to give you the one with the answers. Don't give them the answers, Seaman. All right, here we go. <laughs>
All right, all right. Nobody quit school. Did anybody play hooky? You know, anybody took the knapsack and said, I'm out. I'm out, Pastor. I'm out. <laughs> Amen. But there you have it. The questions, 33 of them, I believe. A good variety. And just so that folks know, you know, I'm very grateful to the leaders, each coach, as they provided the questions based on their teaching question. And so it just made my life a lot easier. Thank you very, very much. Oh, well, it's time for marking papers, and we can't do that publicly. So, folks, thank you for being with us this evening uh, for the quiz. As you can tell, it's, it's a recap of all the lessons that we've been covering. We invite you to continue to be with us next week as we take up question 26 and we will be moving forward learning more of the word of God because it is the word of God that will keep us amen during any time thank you for being with us we pray that you will stay safe always I say that if you happen to catch this this time with us this lesson and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior well, make that choice. Please make that choice before it's too late. And there will be that specific time when time turns into eternity one way or another. And I want you to be ready. Ready when Jesus returns or when you transition from this world to the next called eternity. So again, thanks for being with us Sunday morning. You can join us at Shekinah Worship Center, 9.30 a.m. We have Sunday school sessions for the children and the adults. And then 11 a.m., our morning worship service. This week, Sunday, I begin a new series entitled Kingdom Settled, which is actually our year theme. And we'll be talking about elders on Sunday. So join us. You are sure to learn something and to be encouraged by the praise and worship and surely by the word of God. Again, thank you for being with us tonight. Have a beautiful night. Please stay safe. Christians from one end of the island, we will keep on praying that God will continue to transform this island nation into what he would have it to be. Thanks again. God bless you. And you know what we're saying. Blessings. Abound. Take care, folks.
Thank you. 